Here are the tools you will need for the installation of the R100, R200 and R300 top plate combination. The first thing you will need is a quality number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Using a substandard screwdriver with soft metal will likely result in a stripped screw head. Do not use an electric screwdriver. Do not use a cord or cordless drill. For, for most installs you will need a heat gun to melt or loosen the Loctite or glue that keeps the factory screws from vibrating loose. This is a two-stage heat gun that will heat at 750 degrees or 1000 degrees and protection, or oven mitt to protect your hand, while heating the pedal. Heat plate, or cookie sheet to protect your table or surface from heat. And a drum key. These tools will satisfy most installs. Additional tools needed for direct drive or machine drive pedal installs. A 5 8 inch socket wrench, or 5 8 inch open end box wrench and a 1 8 inch hex tool. You will need these tools for the DW machine pedals. And uh... We don't need heat for this either. Uh, you should be able to just, with a little extra torque, um, get these screws to release. So once you have them released, what's going to happen is this heel plate and this tongue and this basket plate all have to go together and then you put the screws in. So when we took the screws out, they released the heel plate the top plate and now it brought us down to the actual tongue and again with this model of tongue it's the newer model it's just a different color um, we're going to need to flip it around 180 degrees so we want to take this and then go ahead and flip this so we're at 180 degrees this way and then go ahead and put the screws back in and again you'll want to use some fiber type when you do this as a thread locker just to keep these from okay and then what we'll do is we'll pull the uh, Renzi. So you want to leave the, the tongue spacer in for this model. Take your uh, flathead screws that's in your yellow pack. Oops. And put the tongue into the Renzi first and then reposition the basket end. So it goes over both. Okay, and then get your second one in there. The other side, once you get one side in, the other one's. And if you're just going to use the, the R100 uh, like this on the ground, then what you need to do, you'll want to go ahead and put these plugs in to protect them from getting debris or dirt or anything like that while you're playing with the R100 only. Put that in so you have five plugs, they'll fit in all five holes.
And then to put the R200 plate on this, you pull the plugs out. So we put a flathead there, use the pan heads there, and now we've got the R100-200 installed. Alright, and then for the 300, it's the same process. 